Hello and welcome to this to the point early game tutorial on Total War Three Kingdoms. This video will focus on initial expansion and army composition. This video will feature advice useful to both newcomers of the franchise and the Total War veterans new to the title. Now when you start your campaign, your first target will likely be an extremely obvious one. A small army stood beside yours just waiting to be auto resolved. Your odds of victory in this battle will likely be high no matter what difficulty you are playing on. Next, there will likely be a remaining territory within your region that you have yet to capture. This next fight is often won quite easily too, however, you should not rush into it. Being that this is only turn 1, you are likely not to be aware of your surroundings yet. There could be an enemy army marching just beyond the fog of war, so before committing to an offensive, check your diplomatic relations with your neighbours. If you have a lot of wars going on, maybe take it easy for a turn or two to gather some information on your border before rushing off to conquer that resource tile. Otherwise, you may leave your city vulnerable to a swift steal by an enemy AI faction and an early end to your campaign. Though, this being said, it shouldn't take you much longer than say turn 3-5 to five to capture your first territory and completely secure your region. Now it's time to build your army. You will likely only have one army for the duration of the early game. Perhaps a single extra retinue for defending your cities if your economy permits. Also, as a note, your units will not fully die unless their general dies also. Instead, they go into replenishment stage, which normally lasts about two turns. This means that the units which you choose early on will likely stick around for much of the game leveling up through experience and scaling with mid-game units. You can swap these units out for a cost at any time, however their experience will reset, and experience does do a lot for unit stats in this game. So that being said, it's quite important which units you choose for which commanders in the early game. Investigate your generals and their traits. Each of the five basic stats gives a passive buff to your economy and or military. Your general's character skills will also suggest which units they work well with. The character skills tree is not very intuitive, it, it works as follows. You may choose a skill that is adjacent to a skill which you already possess, and you may move in any direction on the tree. Some of these skills are a little lacklustre, some of them are completely useless, though some of them allow your general to synergize very well with a specific unit type. Check out what skills your general will get later on in the tree, and develop them towards the end. Generals also like being equipped with weapons, followers, and items of note. For instance, this little toy fishy, which counteracts my general's depression for having a lack of sense of purpose. Somehow. Man, I've got to get me one of those toy fishes. The retinue of troops which your general starts with gives an indication as to the units which they synergize well with. Unfortunately, sometimes the general starts are a mess, and they'll start with one of every troop type in their possession, an archer unit, a spear unit, some cavalry. For these generals, plug the holes in the army composition that your two other generals will create, as you will have three generals in one army at max. Specialize recruitment so that your general with a high cunning is in possession of the most, if not all, ranged units in order to gain the maximum benefits from the increased ammo buff. Do likewise if you have any traits or abilities which affect infantry or cavalry. Now here's a quick rundown of each basic unit type. Archers murder things at a distance but get murdered by cavalry. They're good behind your infantry. Shield infantry get less murdered by archers and generally murder other infantry quite well and can hold their own against cavalry. They're good in the center. Cavalry murder archers. They also murder melee infantry if they get a flank or rear charge. They're good at flanking. Spears thankfully murder cavalry. They also hold the line quite well versus infantry but generally won't output the same amount of damage. Spears are good on the flanks or in the center if there's a bottleneck. Right, so bearing that in mind, you'll want a varied army composition, likely consisting of at least a couple of each unit type. This will change depending on your playstyle and preference. In the end, your army should look something like this. And that's our beginner's rundown of the first 30 turns, and now you're ready to conquer. Stay tuned for more Three Kingdoms tutorial videos of this kind. I plan on doing a beginner's look at the reforms tech tree and advice on how to build your cities, amongst other things. Also, check out our Let's Play videos. Me and a mate of mine do some retro 4th and 5th generation classics such as Hercules, Spyro, and Harry Potter for the PS1, which, by God, has not aged well. We've gotten pretty good feedback on the content so far, it's just quite hard to get it out there. So check them out if you feel like a laugh. Thanks for watching, and peace.